Hey there everyone, Irv here from On Microsoft and today we'll go hands on with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 but in virtual reality. Quick note here that I'm using the Samsung HMD Odyssey Plus Windows Mixed Reality headset for this video but the sim is compatible with a wide range of headsets including other Windows Mixed Reality headsets, Oculus and Steam VR headsets too. Uh, my PC is fairly up to spec for virtual reality and the minimum specs for VR are noted below in the, in the uh, description. My specs are there too. Uh, my PC handles the game very well though. I have a RTX 2060 Studio graphics card. I'll be making some cuts throughout this video to speed up the process, so don't worry. Uh, I also want to note that the feed that you're seeing uh, here on the screen is what I'm actually seeing with my eyes in the headset. I did overlay some sample footage of what you normally see on the screen in VR, though it has the uh, tool and view, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the video, which is why I filmed it so you could see in uh, actual reality. Now we're loaded here after a cutscene. I want to mention that the thing that's great with Windows Mixed Reality headsets is that there's no need for sensors for the tracking, like you don't need to install exterior sensors. The sensors are all built in in the headset, so I can move my head around here and pretend I'm doing my pre-flight checks. I can look at my gauges, I could turn my head left and right to look at the wings and even turn around to see the tail. Even if I move my head closer to the screen, the gauges will move closer, and if I pull back, the view pulls back too. The tracking here is really spot on, and this is the strength of Windows Mixed Reality. Note that you can't usually get this close and personal with the gauges when you're not playing the sim in virtual reality. It's really like I'm sitting here in the cockpit of a real airplane. Now we're getting ready for our takeoff roll here. Uh, this is a quick plane to take off with, so we'll be in the air really quick. No need to guide all the way down the runway here at Kennedy. Now that we're taking off, notice that my view is centered towards the middle where my head actually is looking towards. It's not the full view, meaning it's actually cutting out some things that I'm not looking towards, which is really great because I'm focusing right now on the gauges uh, as I'm climbing my altitude. I'm also turning my head left and right to show you how our altitude is gaining too. You could see that the airport is getting a little bit smaller under me here. Uh, the black bars that you see when I turn my head aren't actually there when I'm wearing the headset. It's just kind of an effect that happens when I'm recording because the recording takes up a bunch of frame rates. Otherwise speaking, it's pretty smooth while, while you're actually wearing the headset and if you have a game, a decent gaming PC. Let's switch to the outside view where you can move your head around and see the ground. It's like you're in a glass helicopter. New York approach Robin L. The Sierra X-ray Gulf Sierra. It is type Robin Cap 10 2 miles northwest of Kennedy minus 200 feet. Request clearance to transition. Bravo we'll airspace. continue this flight and switch between views as my wit make my way over. JFK Airport and over Queens and towards the Guardia and Manhattan. Squawk 6604, Robin X Ray Golf Sierra. I'll stop and slow here because I want to show off City Field and Flushing Meadows Corona Park.
most of the clip I'll just stay quiet and tour you over Manhattan looking at some things like the Freedom Tower, the Empire State Building, Central Park, Statue of Liberty, the yeah all of the tourist sites here you know, from above in, in our virtual airplane. Just want to point out how smooth it is with no dropped frames. You'll easily get like 30 to 40 frames, which is decent for my PC. But I'm sure if you have newer PCs with higher end graphics card or even a desktop, it'd be a lot better for you than what I'm using. Approach Robin Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra is type Robin Cat 10 4 miles northwest of Kennedy 300 feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Robin Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra New York approach. Squawk 2534. Squawk 2534 Robin X ray Golf Sierra. Robin X-ray Golf Sierra. Robin Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is 10 miles east with Quebec to land. Robin Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra New York Tower. Enter left base, runway 2 to right. Altimeter tree, 0 decimal 1417.
Take left base runway 22 right Robin X-ray Gulf Sierra.
And that's all. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and we hope to see you again soon.